Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Talentino here. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit a video in the new Camtasia 9. Alright, so I'm here in Camtasia 9 right now. I'm going to show you how we edit our tutorial videos. So these are the videos that go out on YouTube and there are tutorials that go out Monday to Thursday. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is import the media. Now you can do it by clicking here or you can go file import. There's a bunch of different ways to import your media. So I'm going to click that. It's going to have a pop-up window here and I'm going to find the files that I want. So I'm going to edit a video that is going out on Monday. It's me talking about my Merch by Amazon updates. So I'm just going to click that. Depending on how big your files are, it might take a few moments to upload. So after you've uploaded your first media, here you'll notice that that button goes away. You can also click this little plus sign here. So I'm going to click that because I also want to upload our intro and our outro. So to make things easier with editing, we already have these pre done up videos of our intro and our outro and I just pop them in the beginning and at the end rather than having to create them every time because that's what we used to do way back when we were doing videos. So right now I've got the intro and the outro. So make sure that you've got everything uploaded into your media bin. That way you have everything ready to go on hand and you don't have to keep, you know, uploading here and there. It just makes it a lot easier. So after that, I then drag the video onto the timeline. This is a Camtasia screencast file. So I recorded this using Camtasia. All right, so I've dragged this onto the timeline and you'll notice that there are two tracks here. There's track one and track two. And then one says camera and then one says screen. So because the video is just of me on the screen, I don't need the screen and I just want the video of me. So I'm actually going to delete this first part here. So I'm going to click on it. It's going to do like a yellow outline and then I'm going to click the delete button on my keyboard. You can also go right click and click delete. That part is that takes a little bit longer. So I just click on it and then click delete on my keyboard. So then I will move this up to the front and you just click on it. And then while holding down, you shimmy it on over to the front. So now you'll notice the video of me is super tiny and that's what I want the main focus of the video to be. So I'm going to take it from the corner here. It was down in the corner. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to move it to the middle and I'm going to enlarge it to my liking here. So if you notice our videos, we don't have our webcam all the way, like our webcam video is not the full screen. I don't really like it full screen and I'll show you at the end why because we do this artistic thing with our videos. All right, so I'm just going to grab the corners here and that looks about the size that I want it at. So we're done with that. Now I'm going to start trimming the video. So you can see here that there in the beginning there was a bunch of just dead air and now you can actually see the audio happening. I'm just going to clip this right here. I'm going to move the cursor to this area. I'm going to highlight it, right? And then I'm going to click the split key right here, the split tool. Then I'm going to highlight this beginning part and I'm going to click delete. Then I'm going to move all this over to the beginning. Now I noticed that we're very zoomed up on the timeline. Uh, Camtasia 9 zoomed up everything. So this is the area where you zoom out on the timeline. So I'm going to just zoom out right now because we're way too zoomed in. So as you can see, things are getting shorter. I'm going to have it to about there. So I'm going to play this. Because I usually say an intro line and then our animated intro comes in. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just going to click play. 
Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. So in this video, I'm going to be doing Merch by Amazon update number 10. Okay, so I'm going to want to clip that after I say 10. But before I start working on the actual timeline, I want to work on the audio first before I start clipping everything. So here on the left hand side, I'm going to click audio effects and I'm going to click on noise removal. So I'm going to click noise removal and I'm going to drag it down here and place it on the timeline. Now in the old Camtasia, you actually had to click it and then it would do it for you. So I've added that. Let's see if it did anything. So I'm going to just replay that. So in this video, I'm going to be doing Merch by Amazon update number 10. So the noise removal, it removed a little bit of the background noise and it does its own auto auto adjustments, right? If you want to play around with it more, you can go to the right hand side and you can play with the gain and the sensitivity and the amount. But for this video, it's okay for me. So I'm going to be okay with that. Now, you want to do this before you start getting into the crazy edits because when you have it all chopped up, then you're going to have to go and edit the audio separately and that's going to be really annoying to do. So make sure to do it in the beginning. So I'm going to clip this part here because I, I go 10 and then the, the intro is supposed to come in. So I'm going to clip that and we're going to go back to media and then I'm going to check out where I start speaking again. Okay, so this week we are up to two to four six. Okay, so I'm going to go over here. And basically what I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm clipping out all of the dead air in this video and I'm editing it. So now I'm going to highlight. I'm going to clip that and I'm going to delete this because I don't need this part anymore. Now I want to have the intro come in after that my little one liner. So this is our little intro. So I'll just place this here and you'll see what it looks like in a second. So update number 10. All right, so that is our intro. We usually say a line and then that pops up. So now I want to move the rest of the video right behind that intro. So now I'm going to press play and continue finding out my mistakes and removing the dead air that, that doesn't need to be there. Okay, so this week we are up to two to four sales per day now. If you remember last week's video, I was getting between one to two sales per day and it was mainly, mainly one sale a day with the occasional two in one day. Now with a week having passed. All right, so there's a couple of pauses there that I need to fix. So I'm just going to scroll across here and I paused too long in certain points, so I want to get rid of that. Mainly one sale a day. So I'm going to press stop, move the cursor appropriately, click split. It looks like I start speaking there. So I'm going to highlight it, click split. You can sort of see the trend that's happening here. Highlight, delete, then I'm highlighting, moving over. Then that's highlighted, clicking split. Now let's see where I start talking normally again. Now with the week having... Okay, so I made a mistake earlier, so I repeated myself. So I'm going to start it from here. So I'm going to move the cursor appropriately, highlight it, click split, then highlight, click delete. Now I'm going to highlight this and move it over. So you can see there's there's a pattern happening here. And you just want to do this throughout your entire video until you get to the end. So I'm going to just clip that here. With the week having passed, it's now two to four sales per day. And it could be a number of reasons. It could be because, you know, it's a Christmas season right now and generally people are spending and they're purchasing stuff for Christmas gifts and things like that. So I stop speaking there. 
it's highlighted, click split. And then what do I say over here? Either way, I'm happy. Okay, so I want that line in there, so I'm gonna move the cursor, highlight it, click split, highlight it, click delete, move it over, then I end speaking right there, it's already highlighted, click the split, then let's see what I say over here. Our team is pretty excited because, like I mentioned, you know, we were, our team is pretty... Okay, so I made a mistake. And I want it to start from here, so I moved the cursor, clicking highlight, split, clicking to highlight it, clicking delete, and moving it over. So now I'm going to do this for the rest of the video. I'm going to pause it right here and then I'll come back after I'm done and show you the rest of the editing. Alright, so I've just finished going through the entire video, chopping out um, all the pauses and the mistakes and the breaks and this is what I've got. I've got a video that's 5 minutes and 14 seconds. Now I'm going to drag our homemade outro video. So I'm just going to put that there right at the end because that's where, you know, when I'm done the video, it's like, see you in the next video. And then it goes into our outro. So I'll show it to you in just a second. Before I show it to you, I need to lower the audio on our outro because it is quite loud. So you'll see here this audio thing comes up when I hover over and you'll see like a bunch of things pop up. But basically this green line, if you lower it, it changes the volume of the audio. So I'm going to lower it down quite significantly because it's pretty loud. So I'm just going to so I'm just going to play it and let's see how it goes. So I'll click play. Next video. Whoa, it's still pretty loud, even though I went down to 50 something per or 60 percent. I'm just gonna go a little bit more because it is quite blasting. So I'll leave it there for now. You can alter the audio of each individual clip if you want to. Like, if you want, if you're speaking like you're whispering in, in one part and you want to raise it, you basically click on it and then it'll show that green thing, and then you can just go up and down. All right, so I'm gonna zoom out a bit and let's go back to the beginning. So after I'm done that, I head over back to the beginning and there's a couple things that I'm gonna do. So right after the intro, I wanna do a transition from this intro to me speaking. So I'm gonna click on transitions and I'm gonna do a fade through black. So if you hover over, you can see what it does. This is the normal fade. This is fade through black, circle stretch, you can, you can see that. So I'm just going to do fade through black. It's like a professional one, it's just like, it's very subtle, but it, it's like those little things that you do on your video that make it look professional. So I'm going to add that to the video, and let's see if we can press play here. Okay, so this week... So you couldn't really see it, but it did happen. The thing is, when uh, you start doing a lot of edits on Camtasia, it starts to get a little bit glitchy. That's okay. That's it. You know, that's the software itself, but the fade through black will still show up. Alright, so now I've done that, I would like to add a color background, but not the entire thing, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to click on annotations here, and then I'm going to head over to this shapes. It's the shapes tab here. And then I want this one right here. So I'm going to just drag it down to the bottom. We'll place it right there, move it over a bit. Okay, now I don't want it to be black. So I'm going to change the color of this. So I'm going to head over to the right and I'm going to choose one of the purples because that is our logo colors. So you can choose any color you want. You can, you can select a color from an image if you want to get the exact thing. You can click mode here and if you have the RGB, like the numbers of it, you can input that as well. I'm just going to do a ballpark here and just go around there. And then once I've clicked that, I'll click out of it. And then I'm going to 
stretch the rectangle so that it comes out and you can see it. So the reason why I put it below these videos is because it, it went behind it. If I put it above, it's going to go on top of it, you see? So I'm going to put it behind it, below, and I'll show you why. So I'm going to stretch this out here and stretch this out here and stretch it out here and stretch it out here and then I'm going to hold down and I'm going to place it center. When you see those two yellow lines, it's in the center. So after I've got that, I'm going to click out here and you'll see it's kind of like it frames the video a bit when you put that behind there it just it looks a little bit more professional I'm actually gonna shorten this a little bit have it a little bit shorter and then center it click out okay and I'm going to stretch it out and we'll just play and see what it looks like we are up to two to four sales per day now if you remember last week's video I was getting between Okay, so that looks good. Now I want it to stretch it for the entire video. So I'm going to zoom out a bit so I don't have to scroll all the way through. And I'm going to make sure that this is highlighted and I'm going to drag it all the way across until just before the outro. I don't want it to go in the outro because it's not for that. So I'll just make sure I'll click over there in the comment section below i would love to have a conversation with you guys all right guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video all right so it looks good so that is typically how we edit a tutorial video when you do it more and more often it will get a lot quicker and you'll be a lot faster doing it all right so this was a basic tutorial edit now i'm done so now i want to render it and have a final video so i'm going to head over to the top and i'm going to click share i'm going to click local file and I'm going to click on this drop down here and I'm going to click on MP4 only up to 720 HD. So there are a bunch of different modes that you can choose 1080. You can choose 1080, but this is going on YouTube and, and 720 will be good enough for it. So I'm going to click 720, click that, click next. And then what am I going to name this? So this was merch by Amazon update 10. And final so I always just do a capitalized word final whenever I'm done editing a video so I'm gonna click finish so now this video is rendering and I'll come back to you guys when it's done all right so the video is done and you're gonna have a window pop up like this you just want to click open production folder all right so this is gonna pop up and then also the video might pop up as well so you can just click out of that and I'm gonna click X on this and click X on this and I will click save it. I just need to save it. Uh, Merch by Amazon update 10. Final. Click save. Okay, and this I'm just going to drag onto my desktop. X out of that. And now this video is ready to be uploaded onto YouTube. So that is how you edit a video on Camtasia 9. So if you like these videos, every Wednesday I'm going to be doing a new tutorial on Camtasia, on video production, and things like that. So make sure to subscribe if you like these types of videos. And if I helped you out at all today, please let me know by giving us a like, a comment, a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.